Welcome to Boot Spy. My name's William, and today we got a boot battle. In this corner, the Red Wing Iron Ranger, and in this corner, the Wolverine Thousand Mile. I'm gonna compare these boots head to head on several different factors, and at the end of this video, you'll get the verdict on which of these two boots is right for you. Let's get into it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy boot reviews and boot comparison videos, please hit that subscribe button down below and also give me a thumbs up. Both are super helpful for the channel and I really appreciate it. So as I said, today we are comparing the Red Wing Iron Ranger versus the Wolverine Thousand Mile. Both of these are classic American boots. We got Red Wing from Red Wing, Minnesota, and we have Wolverine from Rockford, Michigan. Now these are classic versions of these like super hardcore, old style, like early 1900s workman's boots, and they're both pride themselves, they both pride themselves on their rugged durability. First up, let's talk about their style. So the biggest difference right away that you're gonna notice is that the Red Wing Iron Ranger has this cap toe, whereas the Wolverine Thousand Mile, the standard version, doesn't. Now you can find some Red Wings like the Beckman or the Blacksmith that don't have a cap toe, That's they look more similar to the Wolverine Thousand Mile. You could also find the Wolverine Thousand Mile with cap toe versions, um, but basically I'm just looking at the two classic versions, like when you you know, say Red Wing Iron Ranger, this is the one we're talking about. And when we say Wolverine Thousand Mile, this is the one we're talking about right here. The Wolverine Thousand Mile has a little bit of a lower profile. It's not quite as tall as the Red Wing Iron Ranger, and it's also a little bit more narrow in the ball of the foot. Um, other than that, Kind of the big differences is that the Red Wing Iron Ranger has this very, um, very contrasting hardware on it. So the eyelets and the speed hooks, those are made, uh, those are nickel plated and they really stand out from the leather. Whereas in the Wolverine Thousand Mile, at least for the Cordovan number eight colorway that I have, you know, it's got these brass eyelets that really, they, they are brass coated eyelets that really blend in a lot more with the leather. They really complement it. Whereas this really contrasts with the leather on the Red Wing. In terms of how versatile both of these are, you know, the Red Wing Iron Ranger is a super rugged looking boot. The Wolverine Thousand Mile is also pretty rugged looking, but it has a little bit more shine to the leather. It's also a little bit, a little bit sleeker. So it fits, it, it trends more towards that dressy boot category. I wouldn't ever call it a dressy boot. It's definitely a rugged boot, but it's, you know, just if you're only comparing these two, the Wolverine is way dressier than the Red Wing Iron Ranger. For that reason, round one in style, I'm giving it to Wolverine Thousand Mile because it's slightly more versatile in, you know, in, in many different applications. I mean, I think, you know, guys who like really rugged workwear, they can go with the, the Wolverine Thousand Mile. And then guys with skinny jeans, this is gonna work with their style a little bit more as well. Even though, you know, people with skinny jeans and guys who do rugged workwear and ride motorcycles and stuff, they also love the Red Wing Iron Ranger. I just think the Wolverine Thousand Mile is a little more versatile in that area, so they get the point. Round two, we're talking about leather quality. Now, the Red Wing Iron Ranger, this is the Amber Harness. This is from, uh, the, the leather is from SB Foot Tanning Company that's based in Red Wing, Minnesota. It's basically Red Wing's in-house tannery. Um, this is an oil tanned full grain leather. It's quite thick, it's about two millimeters, and it is very, very soft, very pliable, and it has this kind of matte finish, and it feels very smooth, very creamy to the touch. Um, and it's, you know, so you can tell, especially around the heel, just how soft it is. With the Wolverine Thousand Mile, we're dealing with Horween Chrome Excel Leather. Horween's a Chicago-based tannery, been around forever, and some of the best boot makers use Horween Chrome Excel. When I opened up the Wolverine Thousand Mile, it had a white cardboard insert that was basically saturated with oil. And that's kind of a clear sign like, oh man, I'm getting high quality materials here. Uh, the leather is a little bit stiffer between these boots. This also has about two millimeter thick leather. And in my experience, it was pretty easy to break in. Uh, and it's just been a really solid, durable thing. It does kind of scuff easily. So you do have to spend some time working those scuffs out. Uh, the Red Wing Iron Ranger does not scuff as easily as the Wolverine Thousand Mile. For round two, leather quality, I'm gonna have to give the point to Red Wing. Now, I'm not complaining about Horror Wing Chrome Excel leather because this is truly an outstanding material, but my preference goes to Red Wing because the leather is so soft and supple. And then also, I just really like the finish of it. I like the way it's been creasing compared to Horror Wing Chrome Excel. And then I also like the finish here. Uh, it's very matte, very creamy. And so uh, it just kind of, 
breaks into your foot and looks a little bit more uh, custom made. It kind of breaks in a little bit nicer in my opinion. So really it's pretty subjective. I could definitely see somebody making an argument for choosing Horwing Chrome Excel over this leather, but my preference is for the Red Wing, so I'm giving them the point. Round number three, we're talking about the sole quality. Now with the Red Wing Iron Ranger, you have a Vibram full mini lug sole. And basically this is adds a ton of grip. Back in 2018, it was nitrile cork. They changed that to the Vibram mini lug. This helped add grip, it helped add durability. Um, and it also has the Vibram uh, heel right here as well. And so I'm a big fan of this sole. I've been wearing it for several months now and there's almost no wear and tear on the heel. So that's really promising to see. On the Wolverine 1000 Mile, you have a leather sole with the Vibram stacked heel. That heel helps add shock absorption, grip, and a little bit of uh, you know resistance against that sort of, that, that scraping that you do as you, as you walk. And between these two boots, I think it's kind of no contest. I do think the Red Wing Iron Ranger, that Vibram mini lug sole is just a huge improvement over the leather sole, mainly for, you know, wet weather. It, this is Red Wing Iron Ranger. This is going to perform much better in wet conditions compared to the Wolverine 1000 Mile. When it comes to fit and sizing, it's a tie right here. For both of these, I recommend going a half size lower than your true size. Um, I'm a normally a size 10 and a half in my sneakers. That is my true size. And for both of these, I had to size down a half step to get size 10. Uh, they fit really well when you're going a half size down, but that's something to note before you buy either of these boots, make sure you're getting at least a half size lower. As for the break-in period, huge difference here. The Red Wing Iron Ranger was a pain to break in. Blisters, sore feet, uh, took, took quite a few long walks in these bad boys to really break them in. Whereas the Wolverine 1000 Mile, it was a breeze, man. I, I didn't have any problems other than maybe my the ball of my foot was a little bit sore, but no problems breaking this in. This was really, I was expecting the worst, but I got the best. So the winner in this category for break-in is Wolverine 1000 Mile. Lastly, we have the matter of price. Now the Red Wing Iron Ranger is about $320 when I picked it up. And then the Wolverine is about $360. So the $40 difference, you're getting a pretty comparable boot in terms of quality, um, but the price is better, is lower on the Red Wing Iron Ranger. So I'm gonna give the point there to Red Wing. So my final verdict in the Red Wing Iron Ranger versus Wolverine 1000 Mile boot debate is you should get the Red Wing Iron Ranger. The reason why I'm choosing this boot over the Wolverine 1000 Mile is for a few key reasons. Now these are both rugged style boots and I think Red Wing really leaned into that. Um, it just is, is not really as ambiguous as the Wolverine 1000 Mile that kind of straddles between a dress boot and a rugged boot. Whereas the Iron Ranger is just unmistakable, man, this is a burly boot. The other reason why I would go Red Wing over Wolverine is because the sole, I really like the Vibram uh, mini lug sole that adds a ton of grip, it adds a ton of durability that you just don't see necessarily in the leather sole of the Wolverine 1000 Mile. To speak on the 1000 Miles behalf, it does have incredible Horween Chrome Excel leather and I do love this color. And honestly, I have been wearing the Wolverine 1000 Mile a little bit more than the Red Wing in the last couple of weeks. So by no means is this like, is this this didn't lose by a long shot. It's just my preference. If I could only have one, I would probably pick up the Red Wing Iron Ranger. This is a very subjective argument. I think if you like the style of Wolverine more, then you're gonna get an incredible boot. I mean, so many of the same qualities that make the Red Wing Iron Ranger an amazing uh, value you're getting with the Wolverine 1000 Mile, that Goodyear welt, that triple stitching, super rugged, super durable. Um, you're getting all those things with the Wolverine, but ultimately, subjectively, I like the Red Wing Iron Ranger a little bit more. If you wanna see separate reviews of the Red Wing Iron Ranger and the Wolverine 1000 Mile, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Check out the channel. We have tons of different reviews, including one on the Red Wing Iron Ranger and on the Wolverine 1000 Mile, so you can kind of get standalone views of those. Um, I also have links to both of these down in the description below, as well as links to our reviews on bootspy.com, where you can get more detailed information on both of these boots. So guys, thank you so much for joining me on today's boot battle. Until next time, put your best boot forward.